Hello guys, Mike here. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on how to pick tantalum capacitors out of, you know, various capacitors. Like, you know, you have all kinds of colors, shapes, and sizes. So usually, when you think of tantalum, you think of yellow. All the little round-looking ones, like these here. Anything yellow. I mean, that's what I used to do, like when I first started scrapping out, I didn't know. I would just pick everything off that was yellow or blue, like this. This was like my first pile of um, capacitors that I took apart, but I didn't know. So um, none of these are going to be tantalum. These are all ceramic. Uh, these are... Um, uh, resistors in an array so it's just a bunch of resistors put together um, most of these are all ceramic and you can tell they're ceramic because they're round Let's see it's a round shape round and another key key thing about um, tantalum capacitors is that most of them all the time they're gonna have a site that is positive it doesn't matter what color it is, and I'll show you um, a few of those. All right, so let me get rid of these. All right, so whenever you're taking apart a, a board, um, for example, this one here, you see, oh, you see the yellow. You're like, oh man, these are some tantalum capacitors. You start taking them off. But if you look closely, there's no positive sign on these, and they're round. Um, I've never seen a round tantalum capacitor, uh, but if I'm wrong, uh, please correct me, because um, the ones that I've seen and the ones that I've you know, looked up, they're usually oval-shaped and not cylindrical like these here. Uh, let's see. You see that one there? See how that one's round? That's going to be ceramic. And here's some more ceramic ones. Um, don't don't think that uh, just because they're all round that there's not going to be any uh, tantalum capacitors on the board because they do hide. Uh, for example, I can show you this board here and see zoom in a little bit all right so this board here you see all this yellow right <clears throat> and then you start to assume that these are all tantalum as well but they're not these these here are in in, in a series they're an array these are resistors and these are, are smaller you see these here they kind of look like tantalum but they're not these are ceramic as well now if you look at this one here see how it's oval oval shaped and it's just one by itself it's like isolated just hanging out by himself so you would you would think that there was no tantalum on here and then you're just like oh whatever throw it away but you actually there's let me see if I can zoom in. Alright, so zoomed it in as much as I could. So you see how this one has a positive sign on the right side there. That clearly tells you that this here is a tantalum capacitor. And also the shape. If you compare it to the other ones, the other ones are round. And this one's kind of like oval dome shaped. So this is how you know this one here is a tantalum capacitor and not a ceramic one alright so now we'll go to some other ones some other examples here different colors and I'll show you the difference alright another common mistake or um, misconception here is that uh, there's blue tantalum capacitors but if you look at these these are round they're like round I don't know if you can see that but 
they're round. You can almost mistake that for a tantalum capacitor, but these are not these are not tantalum either. It's a 100k capacitor, but this is not a tantalum one. I do have a blue tantalum capacitor that I'll show you. All right, so this one here is a blue tantalum capacitor. As you can tell, there's a plus sign on there. The light kind of, let's see if I can block the, well no you can't, but it's kind of hard to stay stable here. Uh, if you can see at the very top there, there's a plus sign and the shape is similar to that um, yellow one that I showed you earlier. So you're going to know that this one here is uh, also a tantalum capacitor and they, they are in different colors, They're, they don't come in just uh, black or yellow. So don't make that mistake guys and start taking apart all the capacitors you see because you think that they're tantalum. Make sure that they have at least a plus sign on there and um, that they're in this shape here like an oval shape and not round or um, I guess like a little ball or round as uh, <coughs> one of these um, like one of these ceramic ones and you and if you're not sure either you can also type that number in there and look online to make sure that it's actually a tantalum capacitor and not a ceramic one. So now, let's see. Here's another yellow one. Let's see if I can grab it. Okay, here's another yellow one. See, this one has a K. And it's in that oval shape and you have your plus sign on one side so this this one's going to be tantalum as well and then you all of course you have the the black squared ones here you see that line on the right that signifies the positive side so you know that this is a tantalum uh, don't make the mistake and think that one of these is a tantalum because this is not a tantalum capacitor, this is a microchip. So if it has four ends going into the board, not a capacitor. If it has two, one on each side, then it's a tantalum capacitor with the white line. And the most famous of all, we have the yellow ones here, and we all know these are tantalum. They're the most, uh, I guess, abundant ones. Let's see. Where you can find tantalum capacitors uh, and all kinds of electric boards. Let's see, get lucky, you get some that have a few of them. Um, let's see, I don't think this one has any, nope, I just grabbed this one because it had that blue, and then my favorite one that I just did yesterday, uh, this one's pretty nicely uh, populated with tantalum capacitors, and there's some more there. And ceramic capacitors here and uh, actual tantalum capacitors I have a lot of boards that you know I haven't even started to take them off this is probably just a few boards that I did a while back and then I just gave up because it, it got too I guess uh, I don't know time-consuming but 
you know, you just get a, uh, let's see, get a flathead and uh, pop them out like that and see what I mean. You take you all day just to get a handful. Oh, that one fell in there. But yeah, just take them off like that and so forth. But anyways, I just wanted to give you that little that little hint on uh, how to tell them apart. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.